so in this video i would like to explain the first mathematics of the first example of frobenius method and here i have given the working rules how we can solve frobenius method problems and see the first process in frobenius method assume solution as the frobenius series we have seen in the past video why that is a valid approximation then find out first derivative and second derivative we have already done that we have assumed the solution and then we have find out first derivative and we find out second derivative now what the second term says second step put in od that means put it in differential equation the values of your y y dash and y double dash so let's just put it in our od so while putting it in od y double dash twice x square so this term gets multiplied by two twice x square so what so in the coefficient 2 will add and the power of x will rise by 2 so minus 2 will cancel out and we will have only x to the power m plus k and then we will multiply y dash this term by minus x so in the coefficient minus will add and we will add we will increase x's power by 1 that will give me x to the power m plus k then simply y y minus x square y so simply y would give me m equals to 0 to infinity cm x to the power m plus k and then minus x square y so that will give me minus in the coefficient and y x's power increased by 2 and all these things have to equal to 0 now you can see that these terms have in their generic form has the power x to the power m plus k and this term has power x to the power m plus k plus 2 well um, now I will do indexing the m is really the index of your sigma or your summations so I will make this term has the same power as m plus k for that I need to I need to refresh my index I need to I need to refresh my index and replace m as m minus 2 equals to 0 and if I put m minus 2 in here minus 2 plus 2 will cancel out and I will have only m plus k so let's just put that m minus 2 equals to 0 will give me m equals to 2 to infinity in the if I take 2 in the other side and then c remember m replaced by m minus 2 and if minus 2 comes on this 2 cancels out and we have only m plus k and this is our differential equation I will be cancelling this so this is our differential equation after putting all the series things now see what the second step says equate the lowest power of x coefficient to 0 How, what is the lowest power of x the lowest power of x can be obtained if I put m equals to 0 okay so let's keep on putting in the first differential equal in the first term if I put m equals to 0 I get 2 k and k minus 1 c naught remember I have to equate the coefficient to 0 because in right hand side I have 0 so I'll only be equating the coefficients this is the coefficient of first term and this in then in this term I have minus k c naught and then in this term plus c naught and in this term you cannot put m equals to 0 but because we have because it is not allowed this term starts from m equals to 2 so all this thing has to equal to 0 there is no contribution from this term now you see c0 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 can be cancelled out so what do I have 2a square 2k square minus 2k minus k plus 1 equals to 0 and if I factor out I get 2k minus 1 k minus 1 equals to 0 see this is a equation involving only k and it is quadratic this equation is called indicial equation indicial equation is the equation that will give you the value of k if I try to put the values of k I have 1 and 1 half remember the roots if you subtract the roots you get the difference is 1 half which is not integer in the later of the example what I what method I will proceed the method will be only applicable to this kind of cases where the roots will will differ by fractions not by integer 
and I will um, show in later examples how to work out when the difference is an integer or the difference is zero suppose for this video for this video the process applies only when the dif difference in initial roots are not integer fractionals okay so we have found out the initial equation and see what the second what letter said equate the generic lowest powers of x evolving a evolving m what is the generic lowest powers of x the generic lowest power is m plus k remember it has more power than the generic power so we have converted into m plus k to the generic lowest power that is the benefit you get if you do indexing so it says equal to generic lowest powers of x to zero obviously that's what it means and if we equate it then i get then i get simply that from this thing this term i get 2 m plus k m plus k minus 1 cm and from this term i get minus m plus k cm then plus cm from this term and this term has minus cm minus 2 all this thing has to add to 0 that is the meaning of equating because right hand side is 0 so all these things by summation has to be 0 now you can see this equation relates some m power to its m minus 2 coefficients some m co mth co coefficients to its m minus 2 coefficients this is called the recurrence relations okay so if i simplify this recurrence relation i will get something like cm equals to c m minus 2 m plus k twice m plus 2k plus 3 sorry minus 3 plus 1 you will get that immediately after if you take these things common and then you put them on the other side this is just factorizing thing that i'm avoiding on this video this is the this is what we call as recurrence relation because it adds up your coefficient it makes a relation between your past coefficient and your future coefficient so this will be recurrence relation okay so now let's see what we have done in the second process now let's see what third process says if any term cannot be determined by recurrence relation find that analytically now we have to see that <clears throat> suppose m cannot be put m can only be put greater than or equals to 2 here m ca you cannot put m equals to 1 here because then you will get c minus 1 but there is nothing called c minus 1 the, we have able, started our coefficients from c0 c1 and like that so you cannot put you cannot put a minus 1 here and you cannot evaluate c1 from this recurrence relation then because for finding c1 you have to put m equals to 1 here and that cannot be possible so you have to find out c1 analytically what do we what do i mean by analytically I mean that you have to find C1 from these relations, from these differential series relations. To, to make a relation with C1, we have to really put m equals to 1 here. So that's what I will be do, doing, put m equals to 1. Then all these things comes into 2, I don't think you guys can see it, so 2k plus 1 and then k plus 1 minus 1 so that's only k and remember c1 that's what my target is and then minus m equals to 1 so minus k plus 1 and then c1 and then plus c1 only and this term in this term we cannot put m equals to 1 so this is 0 and all those things you have to equal to 0 this will be the equation that will give me the values of c1 if i take c1 in common i will get 2k plus 2k square minus k minus 1 plus 1 has to be equal to 0 we know already what the k values are we have found out that k values are 1 and my half and if you put both 1 and half here you see this term is never 0 so c1 always has to be 0 now see if c1 is 0 then c1 
3 equals to c5 equals to c7 all odd powers are odd coefficients are also zero because c3 if you put m equals to 3 here then c3 equals to if you put 3 then you get c1 m equals to 3 and then you get something but this thing is always zero so if you multiply or divide by zero you get always zero c3 is zero and like in the same way c5 is zero c7 is zero and you have found out the odd coefficients already the odd coefficients for any value of k is zero that will be necessary later on okay <clears throat> Now let's find out what <coughs> the fourth step says. For both values of k, find out c1, c2, c3, c4 in terms of c0. We have already found out c1, c3 in terms of c0. And now we have to, um, because c1, c3 was already 0, we found out that. We have to find out c2, c4 in terms of c0 now. Uh, to find out, find that we will use recurrence relation and for first process we will say the first value of k equals to 1 and if k equals to 1 then the recurrence relation turns out as the recurrence relation turns out as c m equals to c m minus 2 you put simply m equals to 1 here so, sorry k equals to 1 here then you get m plus 1 and twice m plus 2 minus 3 so that gives me twice m minus 1 plus 1 so to find out the value of c2 we put m equals to 2 and c2 equals to c0 by 2 plus 1 2 into 2 minus 1 that gives me 2 into 2 minus 1 plus 1 and c0 and that gives me c0 over 10 like this you can find out c4 even and I will just give you the values here c4 equals to c0 over 360 and uh, that will be all enough for um, the coefficients it is c to c and we also have to find out find out the coefficients value for k equals to my another root which was k equals to half now for this root I will use the coefficient value as dash c dash m equals to c dash m minus 2 just to avoid ambiguity I will use dash and m plus k if you put half here you get um, you get m plus half m plus half then you get twice m plus 1 minus 3 plus 1 which turns out to be c dash m minus 2 twice m plus 1 m minus 1 plus 1 if you do just little bit of factorization you will come into this now for m uh, we have to find out c dash 2 value for that we have to put m equals to 2 that will become c dash 0 over 2 into 2 plus 1 and then 2 minus 1 plus 1 we'll, we're simply putting the values of m and that will turn out to be c dash 0 over 6 same way I'll values I'll evaluate c dash 4 that will be c dash 2 for evaluating c dash 4 I have to put m equals to 4 then I get c dash 2 over 2 into 4 plus 1 then 4 minus 1 plus 1 that turns out to be c dash 2 over 64 remember I have to only express in terms of c dash 0 so I'll I'll be putting values of c dash 2 which is c dash 0 over 6 into 1 by 64 and that turns out to be c dash 0 over 384 now we have found out few coefficients etc etc rest coefficients can be evaluated like that what the fifth step says build two solution for both values of k and superpose them so we have to build two solutions of k remember what was our trial solutions y equals to m equals to 0 to infinity cm x to the power m plus k or if we try in a if we try to write out of the sigma form that is y equals to x to the power k c0 plus c1 x plus c2 x square plus c3 x cube plus c4 x4 plus dot, 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 dot. this was our trial solution now we have found out both the k values and for that k values corresponding coefficients value we have found out them now suppose first i put on k equals to 1 
for k equals to 1 our solution is suppose first solution y1 would be x then c0 and c1 value is 0 so 0 plus then let's see what we have evaluated the c2 value c2 value for k equals to 1 is c0 over 10 x square then c3 is again 0 c4 value is c0 over 360 x to the power 4 plus let, let's let see it simply go on now you see c0 can be taken common because every term can be expressed in like this so taking c0 common 1 plus x square by 10 plus x to the power 4 by 360 plus dot that's our first solution now let's put out k equals to half here <coughs> that was the other value of k so that will give me my second solution x to the power half now c dash not I'll be using dash for this c dash not plus c1 is always 0 plus, plus what is the c dash 2 c dash not over 6 c3 is also 0 and what is c dash 4 c dash 4 is equal to c dash 0 over 384 and like that I can also take common c dash 0 from here so I will take that common 1 plus x square by 6 plus x to the power 4 by 384 plus and go on now general solution will be the superposition of them y will be y1 plus y2 will get if we take that c0 x 1 plus x square by 10 plus x to the power 4 by 360 dot 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 and c dash 0 x to the power half 1 plus x square by 6 plus x to the power 4 by 8 4 dot 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 now see this solution has two constant c naught plus c dash naught that's what we expect this was the second second order differential equation so this so the general solution must have only two constant so, and this has only two constant and all the terms can be evaluated in like that so this will be the complete solution of this differential equation it is not difficult it is just lengthy and you have to go systematically if you mess up in between you mess up everywhere thank you